Thanks, Ralph. Reporting from the Salt Block in Hickory to find out more about Western Piedmont Symphony's collaborative concert coming up on February 9th. Let's see what we can find out. Hi everyone, I'm Matthew Troy, music director and conductor for the Western Piedmont Symphony, and I am so excited today to tell you about our upcoming Masterworks concert happening on Friday, February 9th. This is gonna be the biggest musical event of the year in our region. We have Carmina Burana, which is a famous work for orchestra and chorus. We are presenting over 200 performers on the stage. Uh, we have singers from various choruses around the area, including the Hickory Choral Society, the Lenore Rhine a cappella choirs, the CVCC chorus, and also the Lenore Rhine Youth Chorus, all joining together with our full orchestra and three fantastic vocal soloists to present this amazing event. With such a large collaborative event, how do all the artists practice and get together for the show? That's a great question. We've actually all been working on this for quite a while. The, the members of the chorus have been working on this. Apart from us, the orchestra musicians have their music. I, of course, have been working on it for many months now. And our soloists are rehearsing offsite everywhere from New York to Ohio to right here down in Charlotte, in the Charlotte area. So we're all rehearsing separately. Then we come together for the concert week and we start putting it together for an amazing performance. So the opening of Carmina Burana, if you don't know the piece by the name, you certainly will know the opening by the sound of it. The O Fortuna movement, which opens, represents fate. It's one of the most iconic and recognizable openings of any piece in classical music. It's been used on commercials and on TV, on movies for many years, so it's something that you definitely want to experience in person. The story of the piece actually tells the story of fate in our lives. So you open with this kind of dark, stormy, dramatic beginning section. Then you kind of move to the second section into the tavern where it's all drinking songs, all earthly pleasures, gambling, those types of things. Then finally we experience love. You tell the story of love and falling in love, but then ultimately fate comes back and grabs us by the throat again and there we are for the final closing section of O Fortuna once again. So a tremendously powerful piece of music, something that you must experience live. So if you've never come to the Western Piedmont Symphony, we certainly invite you out uh, to join us for this incredible event. You won't want to miss this performance with over 200 people on the stage. Get your tickets at wpsymphony.org. I'm Ariana Mack for WHKY. Back to you in the studio, Ralph.